Hi there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I'm sharing a couple of shaker cards created with components from the September 2017 Simon Says Stamp card kit. This is an awesome card kit that includes these fantastic shaker tags from Jelly Bean Soup, as well as the insert to make them into a shaker. You could also use them as a window without the insert if you wanted to. I'm going to create shakers with both the heart and the balloon shape and use some greetings from the included stamp set, um, the exclusive best ever stamp set. Now I originally stamped the greeting right on the front of the tag there with black ink as you can see. Once I got to close to the end of creating my cards, I thought there wasn't enough contrast. I really like how this look and I think on a different card design it maybe would work a little better, but I'm going to stamp the same greetings on some black cardstock and layer those right over what I've just stamped on the finished card. So if you are wondering why it looks a little bit different in the finished design, that is why. This fantastic rainbow striped paper from the exclusive Doodlebug 6x6 paper pack included in the kit, I trimmed it down and placed it on the back of the tags inside. Then I am taking some of the stickers. These are the Doodlebug sprinkle stickers included, and I'm using a powder tool to make them not sticky on the back. I am using a cloud and a rainbow, and then some of these hearts, and I'm really being generous with the powder tool. I want to make sure that there is no stickiness on the back because otherwise they are going to stick to one another. They're going to stick to the background paper and that's definitely not the look you're going for in a shaker. So I'm going to try that out, see how it's working. I see I still have one of those hearts that's kind of sticking so I went ahead and added more powder to it. I originally thought I'd try to use these little dots from one of the other um, sprinkle sheets included in the kit but they're so small that they tip over and you see the back of them a lot. So instead, I'm going to save those and use those in a little bit. And because I've already deactivated the sticker portion of it, I'm going to have to go ahead and adhere them with something like glossy accents, which is okay. I can still get some use out of them. So just a little FYI, the shaker's pretty high profile considering, and I just felt like it, they didn't work very well. Instead, I am going to fill the rest of the shaker with some iridescent star confetti, remove that backing paper from that, go ahead and put the shaker right in the front opening, and then I'm going to shut the tag, and that's going to secure the shaker to that back portion of the tag. Make sure and press all the way around to make sure it's nice and secure. And there is that shaker tag. Now, not only are these cute on tags, but how cute would these be tied to some gift packages? I think these are just super fun and really, really clever. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of that then and go ahead and shut it so it stays nice and closed. And there is the shaker with a little cloud and a rainbow, hearts, and some iridescent confetti. Now, the heart is a little bit smaller than the balloon. And I didn't feel like any of the shapes were going to fit very well. So instead of adding any of the sprinkles shape stickers to this particular design, I'm instead going to fill the heart full of the iridescent star confetti and have that layered over the striped paper. What I love about iridescent confetti is that it kind of picks up whatever color you place it on top of. In this case, the rainbow paper, and it looks fantastic with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the backing paper from the heart shaker now. Do the same thing as before. Shut the tag. Make sure and press all the way around so it's nice and secure. And there is my second shaker. Adhesive on the back of the front of the tag so it's nice and secure to the back. There are the two tags all finished. Using a basic banners die this is a Simon Says Stamp exclusive die set. This is the smallest size. I'm going to stamp that same sentiment for the one card to this banner. I will be repeating this same size banner with the other greeting here in a little bit as well. Stamping the greeting with 
Versamark ink and sprinkling on white embossing powder. Tap off any excess there and then heat set that so that I can adhere it over what I've already previously stamped on my card. This is a way of fixing something that maybe wasn't working out exactly. And you could stamp this on any color of cardstock. There are some fantastic, nice, solid cardstocks included in the kit as well. I did die cut one of the pattern papers from the Doodlebug paper included in the kit with a wonky rectangles die that it's gonna go back behind this tag with the balloon shaker. I'm gonna tie a little thin twine to the top of this. You could use whatever you have on hand, some ribbon, twine, um, crochet thread. This is some really thin thread I've had for a really long time. So it's in a nice pink color, which I think will contrast and go nicely with the design. I've also added an, the other rainbow in cloud to the left side of that banner securing the cloud to the card with a little foam adhesive because of all of the dimension with the tags and things it really needed a little foam adhesive back behind that edge of the banner i'll go ahead and secure that whole panel to a white top fold card base and i'm ready to add finishing details now i'm gonna just kind of let those ends of the tag hang wherever and I'm going to take some of the rest of the sprinkle stickers, the hearts, the little dots, and add a scattering of these throughout the card design. So this is where I'm going to take those little dots, the ones that I deactivated earlier with the powder tool, and I've adhered those with some glossy accents. But I want to go ahead and add some more. So I'm going to go ahead and add these two. And this adds just a nice scattering of embellishment to the card design. Adds to the whole very whimsical, fun feel of this card. I love that the sprinkle stickers are small enough that you can include those in the balloon shaker. I think it would be fun to do one with the little treats as well. Add just a couple more of these and then this card is going to be finished. The second card design is very similar to this one. Just a few little differences. I'm going to use a couple of different sprinkle stickers and then use more of the heart sprinkles to embellish the second card. But first I want to stamp the other sentiment I'm using from the best ever stamp set on another black cardstock banner. I've also trimmed down a piece of paper. Instead of die cutting it, I simply just trimmed it down a little bit smaller than the front of a white top fold card base. I'm stamping the sentiment from Best Ever on the black cardstock banner. Again, die cut with the basic banners die. Sprinkle on some white embossing powder and then heat set this just like I did for the other one. I think the look of white embossing powder on black cardstock is a lot showier and shows up super great against a rainbow, very bright, colorful background, as opposed to just stamping it with black ink on the card like I originally did. And like you can see here on the heart shaker. I love how that looks and I think it would be fantastic, but I think it looks better for these cards with the stamping on the black cardstock banner. And I went ahead and left those ends long. You could trim that left side up if you wanted to, but it's a great little place to add one of the sprinkle stickers. And I, the little ice cream one here is gonna work great. Again, a little foam adhesive behind this helps make everything lay a little bit flatter, a little bit nicer. This card is designed exactly like the other one with just a few minor differences. Like I said, I didn't die cut this rectangle, but I'm going to use some twine again for this, this time in green. I want something that's going to contrast against the pink background. I think these tags 
like I said, would be fantastic tied to a gift package if you don't want to use them for a card. And then I'm going to add a scattering of the heart sprinkles stickers, a little strawberry too. And I'm going to go ahead and secure it with some glossy accents. Sometimes I worry that maybe that they're not as sticky um, and I don't want them to come off in the mail. So I like to secure them sometimes with some glossy accents. Lots of heart stickers included in the kit here. So you get a, a lot for um, lots of different card designs. Here's my white top fold card base. Go ahead and secure that right in place. And then I am going to take some iridescent star confetti and attach those throughout the card design with some glossy accents. Thanks for joining me today for these shaker cards featuring components from the September 2017 Simon Says Stamp card kit. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe for more inspiration from the Simon Says Stamp channel. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.